Hey everyone, it's Mags. Hope you're all doing great today. So in today's video, I wanted to do something a little different. The topic of today's video is going to be look fashionable for less. So if you're anything like me, I love fashion, of course. I love looking stylish, trendy, etc. However, I don't have a huge budget for clothes. I like to find deals where I can. I like to find affordable pieces. So I'm all about budget-friendly fashion. So that's gonna be the topic of today's video. So hopefully you guys will find this interesting and get some good little tips and tricks out of the video. So if you haven't already, I would absolutely love if you would consider subscribing to the channel. That would be amazing. And if you like this type of content, feel free to give me a big thumbs up. That is always so appreciated. So without further ado, let's find out how to be fashionable for less. So tip number one is to consider swapping clothes with friends, colleagues, etc. So for me again, I like fashion a lot, but I also like a lot of variety and I don't like spending too much money. So those things don't tend to go hand in hand together very easily. So what I like to do is meet up with friends or colleagues and have a bit of a clothing swap. So it's quite a nice way to incorporate new items into your wardrobe, things perhaps you thought you wouldn't have considered and things that you never would have purchased. But if you go through some of your friends or colleagues wardrobes, you you can often find some real gems that perhaps they've gotten bored of, the item did not suit them, it wasn't really for them, and you can figure out a way to use that piece in a different way to incorporate it into your wardrobe. And it's just a great way to try something new, try something fun, you know, um, without you know throwing items away. Tip number two is to shop your own wardrobe. So I think oftentimes, you know, a lot of us pile up items in our wardrobe. Perhaps if you're anything like me, you perhaps have one or two or maybe three different uh, closets or wardrobe areas and you haven't gone through the things in a while you kind of forgot forget to sometimes what you actually have so it's really good sometimes I would say once twice maybe three times a year go through your wardrobe shop your own wardrobe see what you have see what you haven't worn for a while and if it's something you haven't worn for a while that you still really like and enjoy but just maybe forgot about Go through it, see how you can incorporate that into your existing wardrobe. If it's something that will you know, bring you some joy and it's something that you can foresee yourself using but perhaps in a different way, that can be an awesome way to really refresh uh, your wardrobe with just shopping what you already have. A lot of us you know, forget what we have, we forget to clear out our wardrobe once in a while, so that can be a really great way. And shopping your own wardrobe, you can figure out different ways to pair items that you haven't hadn't thought of before. So it can be an awesome way to you know, refresh, try something new, look fashionable for less because you're not buying anything new, you're just, you know, looking through your own wardrobe and pairing things in a different way or perhaps bringing something out that you had forgotten about in the past. So try to shop your own wardrobe. That can be an amazing way to look fashionable for less. Tip number three is to sell items that you know you will no longer ever wear. So if you sell items like you know sort of going off of tip number two if there's things you've gone through in your wardrobe that you know that no I definitely won't wear this this is you know perhaps totally out of style it's something that is no longer my personal style something I know I'll never wear doesn't bring me joy whatever the reason might be try to sell it and then you can reinvest that money that you earn with buying new pieces that you know you will love and that you will use and that will bring you joy into your wardrobe so that's a great way to look fashionable for less is selling clothing items that you'll no longer use and reinvesting into purchasing new items for your wardrobe. Tip number four is to add accessories to existing classic or maybe more plain pieces. So adding accessories such as perhaps a really cool leather jacket or moto jacket to a very simple little black dress LBD or adding you know some really nice jewelry, a scarf, cool sunglasses, basically adding any kind of fun funky accessories to a very simple plain classic outfit will always make you look a lot more fashionable for less because you're not necessarily spending a ton more money it's probably a lot of accessories that you already have and it's a simple outfit that you can reuse over and over again but just by changing up the accessories can make it look like an entirely new outfit so I definitely recommend that like 
like I said, a classic LBD, something classic like a, just a plain black V-neck top like I'm wearing right now. If you just throw on a scarf, sunglasses, maybe a really cool blazer, whatever it may be for accessories, you know, some bracelets, a headband, whatever the case might be, I can completely make this simple top or simple dress, as it were, look like a totally different outfit with just adding some simple accessories. So if you want to look fashionable for less, adding some cool funky accessories to a relatively simple classic plain outfit can definitely make you look fashionable for less. And tip number five, kind of going off my last point, is stay away from super trendy pieces that really don't stand the test of time. Now, I completely understand wanting to, you know, year to year, season to season, there's going to be some funky new trends that I'm sure everyone wants, of us wants to try, and of course that's completely fine. But if you want to look fashionable for less, if you stick with mostly the classics like an LBD, classic black v-neck shirt, classic white button-up shirt, a blazer, those kinds of things are going to be classic from year to year, will really never go out of style. If you stick with things like that for the majority of your wardrobe, let's say 70-75% of your wardrobe is more classic pieces, and the remaining can definitely be fun, funky, trendy pieces that you know can last a couple seasons or so, that would absolutely be fine. But that will keep you looking relatively fashionable for less, because those classic pieces can be dressed up, dressed down completely changed up with different accessories as mentioned in my previous tip and not looking super trendy will always keep you looking classic you won't have to feel the need to always purchase you know brand new things from season to season because the majority of your wardrobe will be those classic pieces I think that will help you definitely look fashionable for less again hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching and again have a wonderful day and I will see you guys in the next video take care bye